I need one of those uh, Hollywood clapboards, I think what they call them. This is take six because of my rambling. My Saturday routines consist of this. I get up, take a shower, leave the house by 545, 6 o'clock, go to racetrack, get my racetrack coffee, my once a week racetrack coffee, fill my truck with gas, go to Walmart because that's the only place that's open that early in the morning, do my grocery shopping, come home and start my day. I'm usually back home by 7, 7.30, 8 o'clock. Three weeks ago, t today is Sunday. Thanksgiving is coming up. It's three days away, four days away. Yeah, let's say four days away. That is right, right? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, four days away. Four days, it'll be Thursday, Thanksgiving. Good Lord. So three weeks ago, I'm walking around Walmart doing my routine. And I always check the die cast to see if the, anybody's got a Ford LTD, which they're never going to put out a 72 Ford LTD or 71. Those are the two years that I love the most. I had a 71, got married. It was a toy I didn't need. It hit the road. She hit the road years later. The car would have still been here if I'd have held my ground. Rambling again. I don't want to do a take seven. But I do have a convertible 72. Anyway, I'm looking through everything, can't find any any kind of interesting things, and then they, I go to M2 section to see if they have any new kind of lines or anything that piques my interest, and I ran across this. I hate spam. A friend of mine at work, we talk about spam, how gross it is. My mom loved it as a kid, uh, when I was a kid. Uh, it was created for a good cause uh, during the war, World War II. And it took off. And if you go, if you're interested, look on YouTube. There's a video talking about how supermarkets in Hawaii had to put it behind lock and key because they steal it and sell it on on the streets. And Hawaii is the largest consumer of spam in any other state in the country. And I found that interesting. This stuff. Ugh. You cannot put enough ketchup on a spam sandwich to make it taste good. Stop rambling. So I showed this to my buddy, and he asked me how much I paid for it. We, he, I, he looked up online and saw it. Well, I showed him a picture online, and he looked up online what they were selling for. And I told him, I said, I think you paid $18 for it. And there's a front shot of the front. And it's got a lot of good detail. you got to give it to M2, man. They're, the, M2 and Greenlight, they're doing some good stuff. I wish it was brighter in there. And it comes with the Superbird. i got a Superbird store that I don't need to talk about. If you're interested, I can do one with a diecast as an example. Limited pro production of 6980 and it's only sold at Walmart. So I buy this and talking to a friend at work, he said, hey, he sees them selling for 30 bucks. I'm like, wow, I just went and picked it up off the shelf. So yesterday, I go back to the same Walmart as I do every Saturday, looking around and found these two. Now, this is a Ford, the best, with a Mustang, sorry, with a shadow. 698 is the production. Oh, I'm sorry, limited production. And that doesn't mean anything. Only at Walmart. Now, trying to keep the shadow out. There's the front of the Ford cab. Nitrous or NOS, we used to call it kick. Uh, bottle fed cars are cool. Uh, if they're put together right, if you don't know what you're doing, you'll smoke your engines. Because that nitrous will tear up a, you know, good, cheater kits are good. I'm not the, I'm not the motorhead, but, uh, you know, people put too much nitrous on there and they burn their engines down. Then I had this pressed on one. Picked it up as well. Battery's gone out, light's gone out, so I hope I don't have to do this for a seventh time. But, Chevrolet. This one comes with a Camaro 7088 worldwide, but it's not an exclusive. So I picked both of these up. Keep that spam in the corner there. Well, you know what's there. There's the SP. Anyway, so I picked these two up and they're sitting in my buggy where the kid sits. Buggy is the same thing as a shopping cart for you northerners. So this dude was watching me and he looked like the penguin from Danny DeVito wearing house shoes, pajama pants, a generic football jersey with a seven on it. And it was ragged out. 
He looked like the penguin from the Michael Keaton Batman movies. And I mean, he just, oh, and he saw me looking at him and he walked away. Then he came back as I was in the Hot Wheels section. It starts out Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels specials, uh, some other line of cars, Matchbox, and an M2 on that row. So I'm at the Hot Wheels section. I'm pulling my buggy up. And this guy was actually in my buggy with, uh, looking at these two trucks. Had, and he had this one in his hand. And uh, and he asked me, was I going to buy them? I said, dang, yeah, they're, they're in my buggy, dude. I'm buying them. Put it back. I'm an even even temper kind of guy and all that, but that just pisses me off. When people are that bold, thinking I'm going to just surrender something because he's got it in his hand. Then he asked me, "Is there any more?" I said, "Well, you know, two foot down, you'll see." But well, which I knew there wasn't because there's was only one of each, and I didn't buy them as one of each. I bought them just in case I had to give them away as gifts of, you know, kids I don't know is coming around at Christmas time or something. I always do that, and I got a pile of crap that's never been given away. Trucks, cars, planes, dolls, you name it. And, I know, and you know, after Christmas, I always just pack them up and throw them in the building. So anyway, after getting this one and realizing that uh, there's, uh, looking on, on YouTube, there's a video, the guy's got one in the raw. I actually don't know if that's an intentional thing from N2 or if that's something that the, I hate saying, the online community Cause it's not a community it's just people online but that's my opinion again don't want to offend anyone but he's talking about finding them in a raw which it, you know the spam truck he had was all silver trailer and i'm gonna say the cat was silver too the question is this are these things sought after especially the ones in the raw is the collecting community on m2 that crazy uh is it that vast Cause it shocked me that this stranger at like six o'clock in the morning was reaching into my buggy aka cart and uh taking them out let me know what's up with them too are they are they that crazy uh, uh, fans of these things oh there's a glare i uh, can't get it things come from a window but uh yeah, let me know. I think these are really cool. I know I'm not going to start collecting them unless they come out with a kicking forward version. This, Not that this one's bad. I mean, I'm not a blue fan, but I do like this blue. It's close to Grabber, and I had a 72 Maverick Grabber that was Grabber Blue my son has, and it's rotting in my backyard now. But this one comes with a Mustang. This one comes with a Camaro. And the Spam truck comes with a Superbird, which I, I think I said it, but I have a Superbird story that is just unbelievable to tell. I could tell if you're interested. But anyway, that's it for this video because my battery's about to die. I don't want to do a seventh take. And I'll get this posted as fast as I can, hopefully today. Thanks for viewing, guys.